Hello everyone, today I am going to be teaching you how to make a timer GUI. Now, when I say timer GUI, I mean like a minute timer. It has minutes and seconds. Okay, so it's not like you have 180 seconds left. Instead, it'll be you have three minutes left. Oh, say that. So let's just get started. So the first thing we need to do is make the timer GUI. This is pretty simple. All you need is just a screen GUI and a text label. And that's okay. So let's make the text label. Okay. Let's make it good. Okay. So now we got our timer. Now we got got it the way we want them to look. We can just you don't have to just you don't have to delete the text either way. It's not going to show. Them. Okay, so so now we need to make a we need to make a string value and we just call this status. Okay, so now all we gotta do is insert a local script. So now we can just do we can make a while wait loop. So oop, what the heck? Okay, so while wait do. So script up here dot text label dot text equals game dot replicate storage dot status dot value. What this just what this is just doing is whatever this so uh, every so every zero point zero zero one seconds this text uh, this text it will say what this value says. So let me just you know, demonstrate this to you. And now we can have a timer. So you see? So we can just do. Okay, there you go. And we can just do like 649. Yeah, we can just do that. So we can. So now we got the GUI part done. Now all we gotta do is add in the timer. So let's just do. I want to use a while while loop. Oh my gosh! Why does why does that keep happening? Okay. So we can make a we gotta make a for loop. So usually most piggy games are eight minutes. So we're going to do eight minutes, which is also equivalent to 480 seconds. And we want so we want to get that to count down. Okay. So now we can do local timer equals so we can just do so we can do math dot four i divided by 60 which is the minute part what this is just doing is that uh, so it's going to divide the amount of seconds we have left and then we're, it's going to divide by that by 60 and to and we gotta wrap it in math dot floor to round it down and to, to the nearest integer so now we got an integer we'll just round it down so we can just do dot dot the colon and then dot dot. Okay, here's what's gonna look confusing. We just do i percentage 60. I think that's how you do it. What this is just doing is that is it's just going to give you the remainder of i divided by 60. It's going to give you the remainder instead of give you a decimal. So and now we okay so we can. We gotta make sure that okay so if okay so we can do if uh, um we can do if i percentage if the remainder of i divided by 60 is is, is equal to zero then we, what we gotta do is gotta do timer so timer equals just do that dot dot zero so the reason why we need to do this is that way when t when there's zero seconds and uh, so when there's zero seconds but there could be some a couple minutes left but if the seconds say zero then it's just going to put in one zero and we got to put in two zeros because that's how a clock works or a timer so we can just do game dot replication or shot status dot value equals timer okay so and we just wait one and let's just see what happens. Let's just see. And now we got our working timer. 
As you can see, it has the minute time, it has how much minutes left, and it has how many seconds left. So, yeah. So, something else we gotta. So, well, one I want to try is. Okay, so. Hold on. So, 480 divided by. Wait, yeah. So, let's just do. 430 for 7. Okay, so let me just show you what happens when we reach two zeros. Seconds. Oh, what, what, what the heck? Okay, sorry guys. Um, yeah, sorry for the inconvenience. Okay, so apparently you gotta do this. Yep. Yeah, I'm going all over the place. This is the first time I'm recording today, so. Yeah, we have some trial and error. There we go. Now we have a working, and it will still work if we reach uh, a different time. Okay, and this is just this is a very this is a pretty basic timer. Okay, all we're doing is just making a string, which is the minutes, and then we put the colon, and then we put the remainder. And if it's l and if we have less than ten on the seconds part. Then we will add a zero to here, okay? And that's and, oh yeah, and we gotta just say this thing, and that's pretty much it. That's how you make a timer. You can also add stuff. You can also add stuff in the beginning, like you can do time and then dot dot timer. Let's see what how that works. And we have time, uh, and there we go. Yeah, it's it's that simple, honestly. I mean, I've seen time with UIs that are way more complex than this. But this is uh, this is the easiest way I could find, and I hope you think it's easy as well. I hope it was easy for you to follow as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to I want to do a Q and A soon, so you can comment down below. What questions you have, just, um, nothing personal, no, no swearing, stuff like that, you know, just Q&A stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. See you soon. Bye.